Welcome back to Vegas Fashion TV. Today, we are going to get to meet all of the designers a part of our capsule collection. We are going to know a little bit about them and what they are going to bring with them. Come with us. We are going to introduce to you the fashion designers of our capsule collection. Jen Stewart, Karina Roman, Kat Waller, and Christina Roman. My name is Jennifer Stewart. Okay, so how did you find out about the competition? Um, I started following um, Laura Versa Couture on um, Instagram, and you know, I saw it and I was like, this seems like something I want to do and really help get started on my fashion career. So, who gave you the love for fashion? Um, I think it's something that I've always been passionate about, you know, when I was 16 looking for a job, everybody's like going into fast food um, or just, you know, trying to be secretary or something like that. And immediately I went to retail and into um, fashion and wanted to learn more about that. So do you know how to sew? A little bit. <laughs> I'm, I would say I'm a, I'm a beginner, so I'm still trying to figure that out and kind of teach myself and hopefully get more classes so that I can um, advance and become a full-on fashion designer. So why are you doing why now about your fashion? Um, so currently I have my own online graphic tea shop, um, Nerdy Vegas Chic. I really love it. It's inspired by fandoms and um, the geek community. So what I want to do is grow that so going beyond just like the basic graphic tea something that you know that's something novelty that really creating something that's couture um and that's going to be more high fashion in that um fandom world i think a lot of it it comes from my personality so it's not just something that's going to be super mainstream all the time like there's yes there's those things that are um, that everybody has. You want to have those pieces for your customers, but I like to also do some stuff that's going to bring out like a little bit of my personality. So instead of something that would, I would say that's more of like within the wizarding kind of realm, you know, instead of just like the whole mischief manage that's like slapped on everything, I like to do a different take on it. Like one of my favorite designs is coffee helps manage all of my mischief. So it's just something a little bit different and it's trying to be creative and think outside the box so that it's something unique. Do people tell you do it or not do it? You know, I don't think I've really had anybody tell me not to do it. I think it's more of, I just do what I want anyways. Um, I just, you know, it's something that I've always wanted to do ever since I was young. So having it was always the end goal and one day I just woke up and was like I'm tired of waiting and this is what I'm going to do and so I just went after it. Uh, what did you try to accomplish with the competition? Um, I think for me this is going to be a growth experience um, because I am so new to this on this other side of the design instead of just you know creating a design on the computer and then putting it on a t-shirt that's already pre-made. I'm actually working with a whole concept uh, concept board and I'm actually going to be creating pieces from fabric instead of just having something that's already built that I'm just adding to. This is something that's going to be from start to finish. Um, something that's, you know, an idea and creativity and something that's inside me coming to life. Are you scared? <laughs> uh, I am very excited because this is something I've always wanted to do, but at the same time, imposter syndrome sinking in. So I'm having 
little double-edged sword there trying to figure it out, but mostly just really excited. Well, we're very happy that you're here today. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi girls, what are you doing? My name is Christina Roman. And my name is Karina Roman. Okay, so how did you find out about the competition? Um, just word of mouth and uh, Facebook. We kind of like to be involved in the fashion industry, especially in Las Vegas. So right. we like to compete and uh, hone in our skills. And I just, you know, like a fair competition. Yeah. So how long have you been sewing? Since, Since we, we were, were five. five. <laughs> we're twins. So yes. We finish each other's sentences, but um, our grandmother taught us in uh, we've been sewing since we were five. Mm -hmm. We had like a scrunchie business when yeah. we were seven, mm -hmm. selling scrunchies. So. <laughs> and uh, my grandma uh, taught us how to make our own patterns by using our old clothes. So that was a fun thing to learn at the age of five and it just kind of sparked my interest and I just kept going with it. So have you gone to fashion design school? Yes. Briefly. She finished, I didn't. Yeah, I, I got I my bachelor's. I could learn from her. Yeah, there's know, no but... reason for her to continue when she could just learn it from me, so. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, I think, <laughs> save money. <laughs> well, that too, and just our industry alone, I felt like I was teaching myself, mm -hmm. and I already knew the material I was learning, and I just wanted to learn more, so I felt the education wasn't up to par to what I was paying, so that was part of the issue. Yep. And I was just like, I can't pay someone for me to teach myself how to do my work. Yep. So, yeah. so uh, you've been involved in Las Vegas fashion uh, council, I guess, right? It's uh, Las Vegas Fashion Design Council. I'm the president of the council, and she's my the former uh, vice president. I mean, mm -hmm. we're still hoping to bring it back, but due to COVID, it's kind of hard. So we just kind of we're uh, notoriously known for Fashion Fridays. We would mentor uh, fellow designers locally in town, showcase their work, and kind of mentor them through the process of building mm -hmm. and creating. So I just want to get back to with, doing that. Uh, model fittings. Uh, you know, Model showing. coordinating, showcase, we yep. get DJs and have a packed house most of the time, so. It was very fun. I miss it yeah. a lot. <laughs> Do you have any specific style that you design? Like you have, a, you're twins. Yes. But it must be different personalities, right? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> your style? Um, I'd say I'm more classic Hollywood, tailored, Fitted. I like to show women's curves, but uh, still be modest. Um, that's more me. Um, I'm a bit edgy. I like to uh, do a lot of contrasting of uh, styles. So um, I like the urban part of it, but then I like the professional, so I try to blend it together. I do like a grunginess of certain things, and then I keep it pro professional again. So it's like I kind of still go back to that professional side and then try to mix it up a little bit just to, to edge it up. Yeah, make it look ugly, but nice at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> So have you ever present any collection before you? Yes. We have several uh, collections as of 2013, 14, mm -hmm. her sooner. Yep. I was like her fashion show coordinator and production manager. Yeah, in, in 2009. Like 2009. <laughs> um, yeah. So just, <laughs> yeah. We've been doing it for a while. It's just, we're trying to get ourselves kind of out there, mm -hmm. um, doing our best, you know. Do you like to work with any materials? Everything. I like to challenge myself. So if I see something out there that's like, oh, what is this? And I have to figure out what I can do with it. And I kind of like to um, get unique patterns as well and be like, okay, let me just challenge myself. Cause I feel like the more I challenge myself, the better I become and the more I learn. So I like the risk. She doesn't. So. I'm a little timid. Yes, she's scared. I'll look at it for a long period of time before I finally cut into it because I got to be sure about what I do because I'm too much of a perfectionist. This one, she'll so, so, so look at it later. I'm mm -hmm. like, I got to step by <laughs> yep. step and I got to make sure it, you know, it's good. And then I just like, okay, I'm happy with it and then I move on. So, my opposite. Her biggest pet peeve is that I wait till the last minute to cut my threads. So, <laughs> I just, I'm so just go, go, go that I forget about it sometimes. And she's like, you forgot your thread. So it's, it's fine. A lot of mm -hmm. So, um, 
what do you want to accomplish with the competition? Just to hone in my skills, my designs, and continue to learn. I mean, that's all you can ask for. You know, um, a lot of it too is branding, like knowing who I am as a designer. How can I put myself out there that um, where my pieces will look different and can be recognizable? Um, and then just to be challenged and be creative in this time because there's so much we can do, but we're limited on doing mm -hmm. those things because of our situation right now. So I just need the creative juices going and uh, competing in this challenge would be just that. And then make me better as a designer. So I'm excited. The people told you to do it or not to do it? Not to do it. Uh, I don't listen to other people, so I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, the same. <laughs> Again, as you, you can know, tell, I'm all, the rebel. Well, well all through the life, you know, when we were younger and attending school and doing mm -hmm. fashion shows, and um, it didn't Theater. pay a lot because it was sporadic. It wasn't mm -hmm. consistent. And so we would constantly hear from our dad, you guys need to settle down on getting a job that's nine to five, yep. you know, 40 hours a week. And it's like, no, this is going to pay off. This will pay off. You know, what we're doing is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm not giving up on it. Right. No. It's still been this way and we've accomplished a lot so in much. that time frame, yeah. whether, you know, we haven't made a lot of money doing it, but the benefit of it is just our experiences. Yep. The Ooh. satisfaction of watching other people just whether it's helping others succeed in producing their shows or building costumes and watching them on, on stage. The resident, I mean, residency stages yeah. where we're you know, proud of our work because it paid off. Yeah. Even though maybe people don't know this one in the back, but it's. Um, so for us, the word no meant to do it anyway. Um, so uh, obviously one of the show them like oh we can make it happen and throughout the years like we've accomplished so much mm -hmm. uh helping other people succeed and putting on their fashion shows um being able to uh, teach others uh what we do and then you know building costumes for shows on the strip um which is a success in itself it's like yeah. i know i'm making something for someone else for stage however it's my work that's there and i've accomplished something and somebody's looking at it the whole time and i feel like in that moment for me is a success yeah and i will do and whatever it takes us mentoring other designers mm -hmm. their success is our success because exactly we did our job right yep so yeah so are you excited definitely i can't, can't wait. wait to take her down thanks <laughs> Well, we'll be watching you, so thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Awesome. So, my name is Caitlin Waller. Um, I go by Cat generally just because it's a little bit shorter and a little more fun, and I think it fits my personality a little bit better. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so how did you find out about the competition? Um, I had some friends uh, that I work with and hang out with down here that um, kind of brought me to light to the competition and I thought it was really interesting and I thought it would be really fun to kind of help me grow and learn a little bit more from other people and other designers in the area kind of branch out and meet more people you're not scared I'm I'm a nervous but I'm like want to push myself past the nervousness and see if I can you know be better than what I have been in the past. So did you went to fashion school? I went to fashion school for one year uh, in San Francisco. Uh, it was like learning, like learning things that I already kind of knew um, and a lot of classes that it wasn't really working for me. The cost didn't really work out. So I started looking for other schools that I could go to and I found the Art Institute down here. Um, unfortunately, I started the semester before they shut down, so I ended up just kind of down here and I actually liked living down here, so I decided to stay and just kind of learning from, you know, peers and I work in a bridal shop, so I learn a lot from just working there. So. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So who gave you the love for sewing? Um, probably my grandma. She taught me quilting a lot when I was really young. That's kind of where I got started learning a sewing machine and how to sew. Um, but I wanted to do more stuff and my grandparents made a lot of the clothes for my cousins. 
So we kind of just, I was able to learn how to make clothes from there, like the older styles of making clothes. And then I kind of branched out to design and doing it my way and what worked for me. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's really nice. Um, so what do you want to accomplish with the competition? Uh, I really want to just kind of push my limits and see what I can do, but also kind of grow and learn from others around me and see how they do things because I've been kind of just feeling my way through pretty much everything I do and just kind of like, well, this seems to work, so I'll do it that way. Um, but maybe see how other people do things and see what works for them and kind of grow from there and see you know, what I can accomplish by learning more. No, so. That's really nice. Um, do the people encourage you or the people tell you not to do it? So my mom and my grandma always encouraged me, but uh, my dad and like all my teachers in school and everything were always like, no, that's not a good idea. Like you should just be a teacher or a nurse or something like that. That's just like a common, like everybody <laughs> <laughs> kind of goes to those fields. And so I was like, well, no, I want to do fashion design. Like that's what I want to do. I've done design for like ever. <laughs> like I have drawings from when I was a kid that I remember just designing stuff because I wanted to because I thought it would be really cool and so that's always what I wanted to do. So I did help to have my mom kind of push me towards that and my grandma kind of push me towards it but it was definitely hard like pushing through like my dad not wanting me to do it and not thinking that I could accomplish anything and like my teachers like well career fairs like you that's not what you should do like I know you have a plan but like is that really your plan maybe you should have a plan b that's not really going to work out for you those kinds of things so yeah <laughs> it was it was rough in high school it was like fighting against like my English teachers like no you're really good at English you should just be an English teacher and I'm like that's not what I want to do with my life <laughs> but you know so they kind of pushed me away from it but I kind of always was able to keep doing what I wanted to do oh well that's that's great that's really, really nice. Uh, okay, so do you have any preference for any kind of fabrics that you like to work with? I definitely like dealing with like stretchy or like knit kind of materials, like stretchy. I don't know, I've been really interested in stretch velvet lately. It's like my favorite thing. <laughs> So I don't know why, but it's that like, is a hard really, material. You know I know that, right? Yeah, but I just, love that. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it so. No, much. that's great. So yeah, that's great. we all have preference for certain materials, and because when I think the one with envision something is that the richness of the velvet high moves. Yeah, it's yes. like very like elevated and very elegant looking, yes. and I think that's probably why I'm like so much like I love it. <laughs> have you worn with velvet before? Um, a little bit. Uh, I used to work at a fabric store and so I would deal with the fabric a lot. So I kind of know how to manipulate it a little bit. <laughs> um, but also learning and growing in this competition as well. Kind oh, of yeah. like seeing yeah, how absolutely. it works and what works for me and everything. So just okay. kind of learning. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Well, that's important. Um, set up you know, goals and see I can do this, but I want to do the other thing. So I want to mm -hmm. learn more and probably working with different materials is one of your challenges for the designers. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't worked with it and made like a full, like a lot of full garments with it. So I think it'd be really interesting to be able to. Manipulate it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's very important. I think that's, that's one of our goals. Um, to help a little bit because our designers sometimes they um, they don't have um, a lot of knowledge of how to work with certain materials mm -hmm. and I think our goal for this is besides the showcase what they're doing is help them a little bit you know some people they just need a little bit of push so they yeah. can do more things yeah. and that's what we want to do that Definitely. that's what we're gonna do okay well thank you so much Kelly, and we're gonna be seeing your progress sooner or later yes <laughs> Now that we've been able to meet all of the designers a part of the Capsa collection, I hope you're as excited as I am to see what they have in store for us. Tune in next episode to see what is inside of their sketchbook and what kind of fabrics they'll be using for their designs. Also, remember to subscribe, comment, and hit the like button for more.